Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back in the FM22 uh, editor, and I want to show you guys, not youth ratings this time, but I thought it'd be quite interesting, especially for your South American wonder kids, your North American wonder kids, your African wonder kids, especially when you're playing in Europe, what it takes to gain nationality and how you have to gain that type. So we've got all the nations loaded here, the years it will take to gain nationality of being in that country and the nationality type. So whether you have to be uh, just spend five years total in a country or whether you need to spend five years continuously in that country. So we've got all of the nations here uh, and the years to gain nationality. Minus one, I don't understand this. Potentially, I think this means you can't gain nationality from these countries. Um, zero, I, I assume that means you can just immediately gain nationality. So if you went to Kosovo or sent your players to Kosovo, they could immediately take nationality up, which could be a really, really good way. If you get an affiliate in Kosovo, I don't know if that's possible or not, um, but just send them there. Uh, all your South America wonder kids get get the uh, EU citizenship and off they go. Um, but most of these are in North America or Africa, and mo most of the time you want a uh, a work permit for Europe. So it's uh, a lot of zeros here, and then a small few countries that don't exist, and then obviously you get into actual countries. So for Argentina, for example, you need two years continuously in the country, and then your player will get uh, citizenship. Gibraltar two years accumulatively if you want to do if you want to add in a gibraltar league uh, and do that that's that could be one i think they're the, the the smallest amount needed poland is only three years you can definitely get a uh a um what's it called <laughs> a uh, affiliate a lower affiliate in poland send all your wonder kids there similar with serbia there you've also got ecuador paraguay if you're playing in those leagues canada it only takes three years accumulatively so if you're doing a canada build a nation bring over all the, all of those other europeans 16 by 19 they could be potentially playing for canada that's a fantastic challenge there um brazil is four years i think i don't know if this includes spain's whole two years for south americans i don't think it does i think still uh spain you only need to sp spend two years in the country to get citizenship as a south american uh there which is a really really good uh, um sort of uh tip to know Australia is four, Singapore is four, France is five accumulatively, same with Portugal, you get into really long, sort of long times, obviously, England, it's five years continuously, uh, meanwhile, France and Portugal, it's only accumulatively, uh, Wales is five, you've got lots of fives here, lots of the big European nations, it's five years, um, lots of fives here, and then you start going up, into Russia, it's six, Finland is six, Iceland, it's seven years, same with Greece and Norway, um, the longest one is 100 years in Japan. So they might as well say no. Imagine if you moved there at one years old. 101, you could gain citizenship. Uh, San Marino's 25 years. That's going to be very difficult if you want to do a San Marino challenge. Um, other sort of bigger nations uh, that you can play in. Slovenia is 10 years. Italy is 10. Spain is 10. Uh, 10 years there. Denmark is nine. It's, it's interesting. If we actually add in the filter, we can show you, um, I can I can load the filter here of the playable leagues. So you can see um, the, the, the highest to lowest. So obviously, Slovenia, Switzerland, Italy, and Spain have the, the largest amount of years needed. Meanwhile, I don't think Malaysia and India, you can get them, but Latvia, zero years. That would be very, very interesting. I, if, if this actually works... If you can just bring a South American into Latvia and then switch their nationality, that would be very, very good, especially if you're doing a Latvian builder nation. Argentina, as we said, two years, one of the lowest there. Um, but be very, very interesting to see. I thought I'd just show you guys this. It's very easy to access. If you want to go look at it yourself, just open up the FM editor, add the nations, and then you can go look in the... Uh, you just have to customize your current view everything's in here uh this is how i've been looking at other things such as the youth rating this is here as well you just have to type in years to gain nationality and the national gain nationality type and that's all you've got to do so i hope you guys felt this was informative <laughs> um i think it's quite good to let as many people know um how how long it takes because you might go build a nation somewhere and then if it takes 10 years to uh to get nationality it's gonna be very difficult to uh get other nationalities in um but yeah so i hope you guys had a good uh, good time. <laughs> it's been Alex and I'll see you guys next time.